Hey, what's up guys? Sean back with another video and embarrassing excuses on my 600 pound life. Now, it's really pretty normal to have excuses when you get to that size, just because it's going to take a lot of effort to change. Like, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, so I'd be lying if I said I didn't have my own excuses and things why I couldn't do this or couldn't do that. But it's pretty normal. But if you can't laugh at yourself, you can't laugh at other people, like... Honestly, I think everyone just has a bunch of bunch of excuses. So let's check this on out. When I'm eating, I do feel happy, but I don't have self-control. Imagine for a second that you're trying to lose some weight, but on the way home from work, you notice that KFC is having a sale. We've all been there, right? Safe to say we won't be making our way in that week. This is just another day in the life, though, for the stars on my 600 pound life, except for them. Losing weight is life or death, so they're really Come on, skinny people stop at KFC too. Don't just put it all on us. Isn't a good excuse for not making any progress. We've already covered a bunch of terrible excuses in previous episodes, but we've got so much to cover that we had to make another video. So subscribe if you haven't already for more content, click that bell, and let's dive right into it. We're in Houston, and not too far from the clinic. My legs are swelling and hurting. My hips are starting to hurt. We're almost there. The worst thing that could happen is being told that there's no way they can help me. Aaron made it down to Houston, and you can tell that the drive has taken a lot out of him. I know I'm the drive will take it out of anyone, and your legs really will swell just sitting in a car at that size. But honestly, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You really can gain like 30 pounds in fluid just from sitting in a car. It's insane. I'm probably in the 600s, and I think the highest I've made it is around 650. So that's where I'm hoping I'm at least at. Oh no, he- Oh shit. Buddy's- I mean, either way, 600, 700, you're still playing the pick five in the lottery. Like, it doesn't really make that much of a difference at that size. Part of me wishes I was a little bigger, so my numbers could look better and I lost a little more. But then I think of what an extra 100 pounds would have felt like at that size, and I don't want to know, so. He's well above 650 and made it all the way into the 700s. It's not like being 600 pounds is healthy, but carrying that type of weight around is basically a death sentence unless he dramatically changes his ways. Your eating habit, you're going to have to understand what's wrong with him. You're going to need to see a therapist to figure out all those emotional issues that drive you to food. For your eating habit, I'm gonna give you some written instruction that I want you to read every day. And if you do that, you should be able to lose at least 120 pounds over the next two months, okay? Okay. I mean, the doctor's gonna give you good advice, but it don't matter what you're reading, the Bible, whatever, like, it's not gonna help you unless you really wanna change. I don't know this guy, cause I don't think I've seen him in any of the other compilations, but hopefully he did well, cause 718, he doesn't look like he's young or anything, so, I mean, it's probably hurting him like hell. But if you want to get weight loss surgery, you need to show me that you're willing to work hard. Oof, that is a lofty goal, but Aaron should be able to reach it if he sticks to Dr. Now's diet. Me and my dad are back at Dr. Now's for my second appointment. The last time I was here, I was 718. So if I made it to my goal today, it'll mean I'm at least below 598. Uh-oh, Aaron, that is nowhere close. You're still off- Okay, 22 is still something to be proud of. At least straight out the gate, because most people stutter, and, like, stumble, not stutter, but they mess up out of the gate. Like, it's kind of uniform for being that size. Like, it just happens to a lot of people. It's hard to get your mind switched into the right mindset, honestly. By a good 100 pounds. You were supposed to lose 120 pounds in two months. It's been three months. But today, Three. 696. I'm struggling a little bit with uh, what happened to my father. It was hard for me to deal with. Look, I'm not gonna say it's easy when your parents go through a health crisis. It's obviously incredibly stressful. But Aaron, you can't- What's that got to do with the tea in China? I thought it was one month, too. I ain't giving you a pass on three months, buddy. 22 and three months at 700 pounds is just suck. Like, you suck. That sucks just turned to food. Your father more than anyone wants you to succeed in your weight loss journey, and if you keep eating this way, it won't be long before you're in worse shape than he is. I've been sticking to my diet as much as possible. I mean, I still have a little bit of problems with eating certain things like peanut butter. I'm having a hard time staying with peanut butter. It's 
What do you mean, peanut butter? Peanut butter and bread is not what kept you from losing weight. I'm sorry right. what you all went through, but that's no excuse to have not done the... I mean, with the peanut butter, it wouldn't matter if you were friggin' Captain Crunch. Like, you'd have to eat that amount of damn peanut butter. You remember those commercials with, like, the boat and the peanut butter? Like, I remember them when I was a kid. Diet. And on top of that, it's been three months. Once again, Dr. Now's right. Peanut butter and bread is definitely not a great choice, but that alone wouldn't be enough to keep him in the high 600s. You still had two months, even after all that, to do what you're supposed to. But you didn't. I don't know, sir. I, you know. What do you mean you don't know? You don't want to do the work. And you want to blame everything else for why you're not doing it. Man, the hits just keep on coming, don't they? Aaron's father's health scare came months ago. He should have had more than enough time to lose the weight since then. I set an appointment to see Dr. Nazarda. That's definitely just an excuse then. And also, it does, if he's eating a whole damn jar of Jiffy in a day, and he's adding some marshmallow fluff or something like that, of course he didn't lose that damn much weight. But a little bit of peanut butter, if you're not eating the sugary stuff, I don't think it would hurt you that bad in tomorrow and i'm packing for the trip right now you have everything <sighs> yeah i think will you help me close it i'm concerned about sarah going to houston but she needs to change her life completely sarah is so out of shape that she can't even pack her own suitcase and her mother is justifiably worried about if she has what it takes to lose the weight on her own we're both going to be going down there together it's necessary because if sarah doesn't do this this might be her last chance she's not going to have a real life if she doesn't lose weight so it's something i'm willing to do apparently sarah's mother isn't alone here as her sister also realizes what's at stake i see why your sister's so skinny you must have took her helping too damn she's real skinny and also how much clothes can you really have in that little suitcase you're 600 pounds there's like one outfit in that sucker because you fold it up it's gonna fill the whole damn suitcase like she can't have that much in there Unless it's just a G-string and she's going to like some crazy, yeah, never mind. Sarah, you just yell across what you want to order, okay? I don't want to talk. Um, can I get a number one with a medium fry? An additional? Yeah. And that's it? Yes, please. Eight to five percent. Okay, thank you. He was very shocked that you wanted a second fry. You know it's bad when even the McDonald's drive through guy thinks you're ordering a little bit too much. I know, oh, John. shut up. Skinny people have ordered an extra fry before. I can't be the only... Well, I don't know. My order when I went to McDonald's was always a 20-piece and two McDoubles. I skipped the fries. I love their fries. I just was trying to get the more food for the less money. And getting that for like seven, eight bucks, whatever it was, that sounded like a good deal to me. Some sweet and sour sauce, that was my go-to. Junk food isn't the best option. It's going to be a long night. So I just want this day and this trip to be over with. But I'm hoping tomorrow this all turns out to be worth it. Sarah, having a long trip is not an excuse. This weight loss journey is going to be hard, and if this is how you handle adversity, it's not going to go well for you. We're headed to my first appointment with Dr. Now, and my emotions are all over the place. Because what happens today is going to determine my whole life. Sarah and her sister have finally made it down to Houston for her weigh-in at Dr. Now's office. I know it's the only option I have left. So whatever it takes today, I have to do it. Ooh, Six 642 at the Chubb Castle. Damn, Dr. Now has seen worse. He's seen worse. You're still in the good. That's not that bad. I mean, you got to count. There's like at least an extra 20 pounds there. That was a whole lot of extra sodium. She got an extra fry. There's salt in that sucker. So that's probably what happened. 142 pounds? Neither Sarah or her sister said anything verbally when that number popped up, but you could see everything in their eyes. Sarah is completely stunned with that figure while her sister just looks on in pity. Seeing that number is humiliating, especially with my sister here. I have to do something about my weight, so I just hope I'm about to get the help I need. Honestly, yeah, humiliating is probably the right word for it. Nobody should be that big. I want you to lose at least 30 pounds in one month. Okay, so you're going to need to follow a 1,200 calorie a day, high protein, low carb diet that I'll give you today. And if you do that and your lungs are okay, then I'll approve you for weight loss. Did you guys notice she's kind of doing like her Johnny Elbows impersonation? I think it's just the way that her arms are sitting on like, I don't know, what's that? What's that called? Your little rolls right there or whatever. But Johnny Elbows, if you know, you know, creepy dude. 
surgery. All right, Dr. Now's given the diagnosis. Let's see if Sarah could follow the diet. I'm headed to see Dr. Now for my follow-up appointment. So much is riding on this. And I just know with all the tension between me and my mom and how hard it is for her to be down here that she's not going to stay if I'm not doing this. Sarah's first follow-up appointment is a big one because that strong support system we talked about earlier is starting to show some cracks. But I need to be at or below 582 and I really hope I'm at least close to that. Fuck me, we got a third fry at that one. Damn, what are you doing? Going up, like, I'll never fault you for going down a little bit, because that's an excuse, whatever. But, damn, you must have got a whole lot of fries if you pulled that one off. Holy hell. Oh my god, she gained weight. She genuinely thought she was going to be at or at least near her target weight. So, yeah, I don't think this is going to go well. You took two months to get back here. Yes. And not only did you miss your 60 pound weight loss goal, but you gained 11 pounds. So what happened? Uh, we've been eating out a lot because we've, you know, been traveling these last few days, but... You know that's no excuse. And that hasn't been the case in past two months. Yeah, I get it. Moving can be stressful and it's always hard to make the right choices, but come on. You're over 600 pounds. You need to try a little bit harder and not let every little thing be a reason to make a bad choice. When I'm eating, I do feel happy. Oh God, Shanae. Man, I've had so... I'm so sick of her. I've already seen her full episode. And the way she sucks down these fries without even chewing these damn things. She's probably got the third fry. There we go. We found it. All my frustration is gone. But I don't have self-control. I feel like since my body is bigger, that I have to eat more than others. By her own admission, Shanae can't control her eating, but I don't like her logic there. You're big because you eat too much, not the other way around. Sometimes I'll be disgusted, like, I can't believe I did that, but I'm still hungry. So all I can think about is my next meal and what is it going to be? Wow, she knows she eats too much and it disgusts her, but her addiction is so strong she just doesn't care. Today is the day I go see Dr. Now. I didn't get no sleep last night. Bro, put it away. Jesus. Also, I don't think I ever really noticed just how short she is for as big as she is. Her joints would have to hurt like hell just waddling around trying to walk. Like, I bet her hips hurt real bad. Like, real bad. And it ain't Freddy's fault. Freddy the Frito Fricker or whatever I called him in the other one. The Funyun Fun Time. Something like that. Because I was too anxious to see what today holds. Shanae and her family are down in Houston for her first appointment. And she's understandably nervous about seeing her weight. I am scared. Because how much I'm going to weigh in at. So if the doctor rejects me as a patient, it would be devastating. Oh my God. 665. What oh, are you shut up, mom. I don't want to hear any of this fat on fat crime stuff. You're at least pushing 500. You got, oh my God, her, when you're the one that probably ordered all the junk that she ended up getting. So don't give me that. You're, mom, you've seen a full, like a few freaking, like, <laughs> cookouts in your day you'd like to. Come on. Let's be real here. Shanae. That reaction says it all, doesn't it? Shanae literally cannot believe it. She's shocked and she knows she's going to die if she doesn't change her eating habits stat. We are going to eat only three times a day, no snack in between, and you're going to have only protein. If you are 665 pounds and you stick with your 1200 calorie diet, you should be able to easily use 30 pounds in one month. Okay, so there's the goal, 30 pounds in one month. Let's see if she actually goes through with it. The best thing that could come out of my appointment with Dr. Now today is me being approved for surgery. Dr. Now. And also, I think like 30 pounds on her would be pretty easy. That's not that bad. And I also think if Dr. Now was like, if you roll in in a wheelchair, we're going to weigh you with the wheelchair would stop people from like, you make excuses not to walk. If I'm being honest, like you'll find any reason like I can't, I'm just too big. It hurts you'll not walk on purpose just because like you can but you'll refuse to do it it's weird you convince yourself you can't but you absolutely can told me to lose 30 pounds in a month last time i was here i weighed 665. i wasn't that much swollen so now i'm a lot swollen i'm could be bigger than that we're not even on the scale yet and she's already making excuses that's definitely not a good sign 
Oh my Holy god! shit! What did you eat? The Outback in the steakhouse? Like, that's a lot of weight to put on that quick. I'm a lot of swollen. Like, okay, she could be swollen. It's possible that that's what happened. But I'm not gonna buy it. You shot up to there. Because you were swollen when you weighed in the first time. There's no way she gained that much more. You really can go up 30 pounds. But I'm guessing she was already friggin' swollen the first time she weighed in. So she had to eat a couple damn bloomin' onions at least. But not only did she fail to lose the weight, but she put on an extra 30 pounds, which is insanely hard to do when you're so big in the first place. So you want to explain to me how this happened? Um, I have a lot of fluid Arms. in my legs. Can you try swelling. something else? Because I heard that one a thousand times. The reality is to gain like you did, you still have to be eating over 10,000 calories a day. You're still eating whatever you want, whenever you want. To the surprise of nobody, Sinead refuses to acknowledge she's at fault here, and Dr. Now immediately shuts down the swelling theory. I got a call informing me that she came to the hospital instead. She was scared she was dying because she was suffering from extreme stomach pain as well. Oh, bro, I remember this. Just because, like, she didn't want to weigh in, she went to the hospital. But also, here's the thing with her. I'm pretty sure that, like, the updates everyone gave me when I made the first video was that she has since got pregnant, made, like, a GoFundMe, done all this and that, trying to scam people out of money, got with a new dude. I, the Frito Fricker Freddy's out of here, so I don't know what happened there, but she's out here scamming people. I know that. But as a number of other symptoms, my instinct is that her timing is suspicious and that she's not lost the weight. And it's blaming all this to try to avoid any accountability today. You know, Dr. Now's probably right about that, but at Sinead's size, it wouldn't take much for her body to effectively break down, so she's going to be in the hospital for quite a bit. We did discover that she started to take water pill as diuretic to try and lose weight, but she's- I tried that. I tried some over-the-counter water pills. I'm like, I'm gonna get flipper out of my system, baby. We're gonna flush this water. Did not work out for Sean. I don't, I don't know if I was taking those when I went to the hospital for kidney failure or not. But I got super dehydrated. That was a different time. That, that was ibuprofen and lisinopril. Because they had me on blood pressure medicine. My blood pressure wasn't even high. They figured out that I'm just fat. You have to wait a while for my blood pressure to drop. After you make me walk across the damn hospital or something. But like, yeah... <laughs> I tried to get rid of flipper, let's just put it that way. Taking five times the safe amount to try and force a lot of weight loss. But she still gained. We checked her weight and she is 712 pounds. So Shanae is eating so much that a lethal amount of diet pills still can't make her lose weight. That is just insane. The staff has seen her eating burgers and pizza that Freddy has been sneaking in. So I have a good- Oh, Freddy stuffed a Big Mac in his prison pocket, you sicko. Also, like, Shanae, you jumped up, what was that, like 60 freaking pounds? Don't get me wrong, if I was on the show, it would have been an epic crash and burn, but I would have been funny at least. You guys would have got to laugh at me a little bit, because I would have put on a damn show, man. I would have gone American Pie and done all that shit. I'd had a whole skit going. Good bed to address with them. Hey, Daphne. Hey, Shanae. See what I find. Freddy. What Chuck about cheese. Chuck and cheese. Freddy. <laughs> that belongs Freddy. Shanae. The lying need to stop now. Oh my God, that's perfect. Shanae is caught red-handed and she doesn't even hesitate for a second to throw Freddy under the bus. No notes. You guys know when I was 16, I got kicked out of a Chuck E. Cheese because they tried to say you had to be 18 or be in there with an adult. I just wanted a damn pizza. I was fat, man. They kicked me out. I didn't think you would get carded for Chuck E. Cheese, but you freaking can. And now that I'm older, I understand. There's weirdos in the world, man. That's perfection right there. A plus television at its finest. Oh man, I should have saved that story for the end. But that's it for embarrassing excuses. There's always going to be excuses, man. Everybody's got them. It's part of, I don't want to say the pro. Yeah, it's part of the process, man. You're going to make excuses until you don't for yourself anymore. Like at some point you're going to realize like, hey, I can't keep doing this and keep living. And you'll change your ways. But you're not defined by your excuses. That's why I sit here and tell you guys all the stuff I messed up. Because if I can, like, get on the right path, anybody can, man. I swear, you guys got it. Like, I effed up epically. I was really good at it, too, man. I was, like, world-class F up over here. But 
All right, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Peace.